today's Minecraft video, I'm going to be showing you how to switch to any old Minecraft Bedrock Edition version like this one, which is 0.14.0, which released on February 18th, 2016. One year ago, I brought you this video, which was how to switch to old versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's about time I brought you an updated tutorial. So for those of you who have been having problems where the file is a .zip instead of .exe, I'm going to explain everything. But seriously though, who remembers these skin packs available on old Minecraft Pocket Edition? There are so many cool skin packs and it's super nostalgic. Like look at the options and how they used to be. What you see on screen right now is the official Minecraft launcher, where you have access to Minecraft Java Edition, Minecraft Windows, Minecraft Dungeons, and Minecraft Legends, which is coming soon. Now, Minecraft Java, of course, you can switch what version you're playing, but for Minecraft Bedrock players, this is not possible. I mean, it probably explains why the Minecraft launcher only has a 3.9 star rating on the Microsoft Store. But this right here is the unofficial Minecraft Bedrock Edition launcher, which lets you select between betas, previews, you can go to installations, and you can select a version from many, many years ago. Like, look at all these versions and betas that you can pick. Let's say we wanted to pick, let's go to like 1.7. We'll go to 1.7.1. If we wanted to play this, we click that, and then we just click play. And just like that, I'm on a very old Minecraft version, 1.7.1. Down below in the description will be a link to this page. It is Minecraft Bedrock Launcher, an unofficial Minecraft Bedrock for Windows 10 slash 11 launcher. They have a download, they have a source, they have a donate button, they have a Twitter, they have a YouTube, and they have a Discord. So if my tutorial doesn't work, I recommend reaching out to them there. If you just click on the source page, it's going to take you to their official GitHub page. I've been using this for over a year, and honestly, I wouldn't be able to do my betas and previews and Minecraft videos if it wasn't for this launcher. First thing you want to do is tap on the download. Now, when you download it, it's going to say release.zip. In my previous video, it was a .exe. So what I recommend doing is on your home page, just create a new folder and just rename this as Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. The file you've just downloaded, put it inside of the Bedrock Launcher folder. I am going to run a virus scan on this to prove to you that it is completely fine. As you can see, my scan is complete and there's even a detailed report if I really wanted to. There is no problems with this file. It would tell me if there was. What you want to do here is right click on the release.zip and do extract here. It is going to extract all the files available. It's going to put them into here, which is net 6.0 windows, blah, 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 blah. You want to open this and then you're going to see bedrock launcher. Now, the majority of this, I mean, it's kind of useless to you and me. It's part of the coding to make this possible. So do not delete anything at all. You then want to just double tap on the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. And then all you're going to do here is just click yes. When installing this for the first time, it says welcome to the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. Click on next. Make sure you save this where you want to save it. I recommend sticking to recommended unless you know what you're doing. So I'm just going to stick to the recommended. I'm then going to click next. And then this is where you need to add your Microsoft account. Once you've done there, it's basically going to say, do you want us to back up your existing data? Which again is recommended. Click finish. And it's that simple. I use this every single week. Now, again, feel free to mess around with older versions if you wanted to. Uh, by default, it's going to have play latest release or play latest preview. If I click on this and click play, the latest version is going to pop up. And there you have it. We're now on version 1.19.51, which was the latest version as of me making this tutorial. It's that easy. You're just going to have to remember to go into your Minecraft Bedrock launcher file and then this one and then do the exact same as last time if you want to boot this back up. And there's your launcher. Let me show you a few more things though. The Minecraft Bedrock Launcher actually has some pretty cool quirks. Let me show you. So first off, if we go to patch notes, you'll see here, it's going to show you all the official change log of the previous versions. Let's tap on this. Now, this is pretty much embedded into the 
client itself so you can see everything anything that's available on the change log you can see in here including the latest book reports now when you tap on installations like i said this is where the magic happens because you can create any kind of version you wanted to so if you wanted to go back to 1.5.3.0 you can but it gets cooler because of course you can do this as old minecraft if you wanted to but at the top you can actually give this a specific icon if you really wanted to let's give him one of these because we know they're pretty old then we click create and it's just right there available in settings is the language option it does have english united states but it also has english upside down which is a pretty cool quirk it also supports spanish french brazilian portuguese russian and much more you can actually change the background of your main screen so if you wanted to change it to the in dev days and then go back to the minecraft bedrock launcher you can see it's kind of like the console edition one of my favorite updates was the update aquatic so sometimes i end up changing it to that and i really like this menu also available is launcher settings if you want to test beta versions of the launcher new features etc you can enable this keep the launcher open while games are running i usually have this unticked because i don't need the launcher once minecraft is booted same way as it is on minecraft java edition animated transitions between pages so you can go and here you can see how they slide across there so that's completely up to you or you can have it static which just goes straight to the page and then you've got allow additional checking for new versions directly from the microsoft store so this is going to continuously check if minecraft needs to be updated or not inside of installations on the far right hand side you have releases betas and previews i have them all ticked so i can access every single beta preview and full release so if i was to click on latest preview it's going to boot up the latest one cool thing is let's say i clicked on this version by mistake i'm like nah i needed to go and play an old version of minecraft let's say we want to go back to 1.17.10 i can close that one and i can open this one in real time and i'm gonna show you as this just boots up a very old version of minecraft bedrock edition well let's say i didn't even want to play this version let's say i wanted to play an even older version which was like the 1.50 versions in fact we're going to go back to an even older version here so let's go to installations let's go to new installations and let's go all the way down to the version that we were playing last time which was 0.14.0.1 let's create it and let's play it this version is that old it used to be called windows 10 edition beta it was like one of the first ever pocket edition versions converted to minecraft windows you remember the world's options the realms the friends let's create a brand new world real quick survival creative oh boy good time i always appreciate how far minecraft bedrock edition has come like these old menus so much nostalgia but it's still kind of sad that minecraft bedrock still doesn't necessarily have its own launcher and we are having to use these third party websites and downloads to do it but yeah nonetheless if you want to go and check out old minecraft versions you can do it yourself let me know in the comment section if you made it this far in today's video i'll see you next time there was no such thing as emotes back then but this is what we're gonna have to do